In this tutorial video, I will be explaining about the mechanism of a simple cell. Mechanism means working principle, the way in which a certain thing works. Simple cell is also known as voltaic or galvanic cell. Simple cell is a source of electricity. Here, the chemical energy is converted into electrical energy. Let me share my screen. Okay, here on this page, I have written, um, I have described about a simple cell. This is the diagram of a simple cell. A simple cell consists of a beaker. Uh, inside the beaker, we place electrolyte. Electrolyte could be an acid, an alkaline, or a salt solution. Uh, there are two metallic plates or electrodes. Um, here, we have taken zinc electrode and copper electrode. This device here, this is a symbol for galvanometer. Galvanometer, it detects uh, a little amount of electricity, meaning that uh, galvanometer is extremely sensitive towards any electrical flow. This one here, this symbol is for switch. Moving on. All right. The electrolyte, the electrolyte we have uh, for this um, simple cell here is sulfuric acid, the molecular formula for sulfuric acid is H2SO4. The acid dissociates into its constituent ions, hydrogen ion and sulfate ion. Hydrogen ion is positive radical and sulfate ion is negative radical. Hydrogen loses its electrons while sulfate ion accepts the electrons and becomes negative. Now, these ions move to uh, two, two different electrodes, two different metallic plates. Hydrogen ions move towards copper plate and sulfate ions move towards zinc plate. Now, why is this happening? Let me explain. We have these two metallic plates or electrodes, which are copper and zinc. Other than these metals, we can use uh, metals like aluminum, uh, we can even use graphite, we can use platinum, um, magnesium, etc. But here we've taken copper and zinc. We need to know this fact that metals, they always want to become positive. Metals tend to lose electrons and they want to become positive. Different metals have uh, uh, different electropositivity, meaning, meaning some metals, they, are, they readily lose electrons, while some metals, they, um, they don't lose uh, electrons as readily, as easily as other metals. In between copper and zinc, in between copper and zinc, zinc readily loses electron. All right. Zinc readily loses electron, which means that zinc easily loses electron. And this, um, this um, um, uh, metal uh, becomes positive, okay? So since zinc is readily, easily losing electron, this becomes source of electron, okay? So from this plate here, electrons are being liberated. Electrons are moving along the wire. This is wire here, okay? So because this side, electrons are being lost, this, this side is uh, um, called the negative terminal, okay, terminal in this uh, cell. Um, so the electrons flow here, come, this, come to this end, okay, um, uh, come to this end, all right. Now, let us look in the copper plate. In the copper plate, electrons are collecting right? Electrons are being collected. So, 
So that is the reason why the H plus ions, which are present in the electrolyte, are attracted to the copper plate. The H plus ion, hydrogen ion, which are positive radicals, positive ions are attracted to this uh, plate here, copper plate. Uh, let us look at this uh, equation here. Hydrogen ion combines with the electron and they become stable hydrogen gas molecules. And uh, this can be observed um, by the formation of hydrogen gas bubbles on the copper plate. These gases are liberated. These gas molecules uh, get liberated from this point here. All right. So the reason why hydrogen ions, positive ions are attracted to this plate here, copper plate here is because of the um, availability of electrons. Uh, now let us come to zinc plate. I have already mentioned that zinc is, is more electropositive than copper, which means zinc loses electron, right? The valency of zinc is two. Um, uh, zinc metal loses its two valence electrons, <clears throat> all right? Now, <clears throat> at this end, zinc um, metal becomes uh, positive, right? So the negative ions, sulfate radicals, sulfate ions in the electrolyte are attracted towards um, positive zinc metal, zinc metal, all right? This rod here. So the sulfate ion combines with zinc ion to for form zinc sulfate. And over time, what we observe is that this plate here, this metal rod here becomes thinner and thinner. It's because zinc metals are, are uh, dissolved, are solubilized in the um, electrolyte. Zinc is uh, combined, zinc combines with sulfate ion to form zinc sulfate salt. So, this is um, so this explains the overall chemical reactions in the in the um, setup here and this keeps on going and um, uh, the electrons keep on flowing through the wire in the circuit and we know that the electricity is being produced um, the light bulb glows or if, if there is a galvanometer we can see the needles uh, um, moving so that tells that there is flow of electricity. I hope this makes sense. Thank you.